Good morning. Happy Friday. Um, so this is kind of an unscheduled, unplanned. I'm just going to do it. I got a box from Spellbinders. And so I thought I would just jump on here and unbox it. Um, I enjoy watching those when people unbox fun stuff. So I'm going to try it. We'll see if it's interesting or fun. Good morning. I'm drinking my tea. A little shout out to Stitch Fix 2 today. I joined that second box two, two months ago. And uh, the first box, I got one thing. And the second box, I got a pair of pants. I don't know if you'll be able to see them, but they're like, I don't know. I'll sh I, I'm going to switch cameras. But thank you to Stitch Fix for finding um, pants that were long enough. I have really long legs and maybe a short torso. So when I have to have pants, it's really an issue. Um, but anyway, so this is just um, live this morning. Happy Friday. I'm in my happy place. My happy place is now my happy place, which is my studio. I'm going to switch cameras. I am fortunate to work with some really fun companies, and um, Jelly Arts being one of them, who sponsors a lot of what I do, and they are partnering with Spellbinders, and so I got a Spellbinders box um, that I thought I would kind of un undo here, because I just saw the contents yesterday. I, I never know which camera I'm looking at. Um, Anyway, I got the box yesterday, and so um, I thought, what the heck? So let me just move cameras here and see. Yeah, this gives you a better perspective. All right, I'll move this. So this is what they sent me, which is kind of cool because they sent it in a cool bag. And um, I believe... It's all Jane Davenport products. So, hi puppy. You are going to expect some of this in my art journal. They sent story time paint pens, crayons. Look at this. I don't even know what it is. Ooh, they come in two points. Oh. Okay. Well, they're paint pens. I can't, they're all wrapped up. Okay, I'll show you what they are. Cool, I love the colors too. I probably should turn the autofocus off, but okay. Um, I'll go fast, this will be boring. Um, Mermalicious brush set. Oh my, I almost dropped him. Okay, interesting. How cute are those? <laughs> Okay, these I'm excited about. These are blender sets. Aren't they great? They're like, what do you put your makeup on? And I'm very excited about that. Okay. I better make sure that I am. Oh, I did not even make sure that I really was live. Hold on. It's cool. I, I even asked Stitch Fix if I could get these pants in a whole different color. Okay, yeah, I am. Good. I'm learning this technology stuff. All right. They gave me Storyline paint pens. Oh, in white and black and two different tips. Okay, that's amazing. Those will be used, right, broad and fine. Those are going to be used now. And, of course, if I love any of this stuff, you are going to know it right out of the, it, it, it's right up my alley. Okay, this is Face Base. You know what I love about Jane Davenport's? products. I use her watercolors. I love that she makes everything like makeup. So she does a lot of faces. So this is, this actually looks like foundation. And um, I think that's really cool. If you're doing faces, so she did, um, these look like stamps, a stamp set with eyes. And then they sent me dyes, her dyes. So what's even more cool is if you can't cut it out, you can, those are die cuts. Oh my god. That is way cool. Okay. Oh, look at that. Little baton blenders. Again. See, she does everything like makeup, which is so funny. 
Um, these are acrylic paints. I happen to know they were going to send these. So, of course, all of her stuff is... Oh my god, you guys. So I will be using this with my Jelly Arts plate because that's what we're partnering up this month. Or, no, that'll be in March. Um, hi, Kim! So I'm unboxing something that I got from um, Spellbinders is what I'm doing. Um, so this is a quill pen. You guys, this is going to be so great in my art journal. It's so, I'm, I'm actually, I am a fountain pen. I use a fountain pen at work. So this is going to work with me. <laughs> Look at, I can't, I'm so excited. Oh, I wanted to photograph this stuff. I can't dig into it yet. I wanted to photograph it and thank them. Um, then they gave me the ultimate pen. Hi, Mary Davis. And then they gave me two glitter, oh, God, ultimate pens, glitter. Okay, you know me and Gil glitter and I don't get along, but I, I accept that. Okay, and then, of course, I'm taking a photo of all this. They sent me, these are so cool, um, mineral eyes, lit up, birthday suit, oh, cute names, chilled. These are all, oh, my God, I'm so excited. These are all pastels. So this was all from Spellbinders. I'll take a photo and I will um, post it on my um, page so you can see. But this is all what Spellbinders. So I will be working with their products. And of course, my favorite, Jelly Arts Plates. That is going to be a feature that is coming in... March, I think. I have to look at my calendar. So um, thank you to Spellbinders, first off. And thank you. I love it when they send stuff that just really speaks to me. Now, the face thing is something I'm going to have to get used to. Um, oh, I was going to try and show off my sticks. They're Stitch Fix leggings. My God. And I just emailed them. And these are navy blue, which I would never have kept. But they fit me like a glove. And they're like jeans. But they're leggings, and they fit my legs. Okay, it's weird. When you're tall, I'm tall, and I'm all legs. So um, I literally wrote and said, I doubt you'll ever find something that will suit me um, in legs, in jeans, because I have to buy, everything I buy is normally like crop, because it has to be intentionally too um, short for me. Um, but these, they sent them, they were actually two inches longer, and I had to exchange them for two inches shorter, so there are taller people than me in the legs. Anyway, so that's my Friday. There's a little bit behind the scenes. This is kind of, um, I'm showing more of what I do when I get up, and um, obviously unboxing this something was something I wanted to do, and I thought, ah, oh, why not pop on here and see what I got? So um, you guys will expect to see Spellbinders and um, Jelly Arts products put together in my art journal in the next month or so. And yes, I love to use um, products from just a wide range. And when you get something new like this, um, you just want to share the excitement. I will take a photo of it, but there's just so much. Um, I will upload this to um, YouTube too. Um, good morning, Bonnie. Good morning, Mary. Good morning, Kim. Good morning, everybody. And if you're watching this on the replay, Thank you for watching. Um, it's Friday. Uh, this weekend is the Super Bowl. Go to whoever team wins. I'm rooting for the 49ers. Um, but when I say rooting, just whoever decides to win. I'm You know what I'm cheering for? The commercials. I'm going to be knee deep in the commercials. And I'm having a Super Bowl gathering at my home. And um, when I do that, this is what I do. Um, I invite people over and I say, join my house. I will provide the kitchen. I will provide, good morning, Maria. Good morning, Terry. I will provide the kitchen, the ambiance, the seating, the, um, I buy, I have football, um, glasses. I have stemware. Um, I, I love to host. I do not like to, um, cook. So we potluck it, and everybody makes my house look amazing. And I provide chips and dip. <laughs> now, my chips and dip is world-renowned known, um, and it's made with love. 
So if that gives you an idea of how sad um, I am in the cooking department, um, but I love to host and I have a home that I think is meant to host and um, I love to welcome my friends in. So I invited over, I, I basically said it was a gathering and now it's turning into more of, I don't know when you shift from gathering to party, but what that number is, but I feel like it's shifting. Good morning, Angie. Good morning, Terry. Um, I need to have the definition of gathering versus party because I don't want to have a party, but I do want to have a gathering. But I feel like now we're approaching over 10 people and that becomes a party. Um, anyway, so that's all I wanted to do. Um, tomorrow I'm going to work. When I say work, I'm going to design and paint and draw and graphics and all that fun stuff that I do Um for my art business. The weather's supposed to be gorgeous and I'm going to basically open up both windows in my studio um, and paint. So, um, and I was asked on Facebook Live for a tour of my studio. We are gonna do that. We're gonna do that on February 12th, I think. And I basically I'm gonna open up every drawer, show you every space, even the embarrassing ones and um, how I organize things. So uh, I hope you will join me for that. That's on February 12th. And lots of fun things are coming up. It's uh, really, really great. Uh, thank you for joining me. And good morning, Teresa. Good morning. Thank you for joining me live. Uh, I will, this is, you can watch this replay. I basically just unboxed it, uh, unboxed it, unboxed items that I got from Spellbinders to work with Jelly Arts. Um, I should be showing the Jane Davenport plates, but I didn't have them handy. But I'm going to be working with all Jane Davenport Jelly Arts Spellbinders products in March. So thank you, Spellbinders, and thank you, Jelly Arts, for this wonderful opportunity to get back in and play, 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 play. That's all I want to do. All right, guys, I will see you. Happy Friday. And um, Facebook Live is next Wednesday. Next Wednesday. If you don't have this book, Boosting Your Joy, um, you don't need to buy it. It's not required. But if you do read it, I would love to hear your thoughts. Uh, we're going to talk about that book and things that I picked up from that book, um, which, uh, as you can tell, because of the way I flag, highlight, and fold the corners, I got a lot of Thank you, Kim. That was my first official unboxing. I've never really done that. Have a great day, Angie. Have a great day, everybody. And live, be you, and your purpose. Okay, guys, over and out.